Well, another cloudy day. And I mean cloud is getting dark. And I took the truck, the blazer, to the mechanic so I can so they can fix the sender unit. It's not sending the signal to the to the gauge and I thought it was the gauge so I went and bought a new gauge installed it and, and still not sending uh, anything so it's the sending unit so I didn't know how much gas I had so I said you know let me put five gallons and I went to the gas station and it turns out that I filled it up so I can't take it back to them and they couldn't do it anyway they said they were really busy even though I called and they said yeah bring it in but then they told me no I got 10 cars in front of you so I said you know what I'm gonna do it myself I'm gonna see if I can do it myself I'm not sure but I gotta get the gas out so I connected the little gas tapper and I'm putting gas uh, in my truck which it was almost empty and might as well say well it this this avalanche takes about 27 gallons i was down to half a quart the blazer has about 25 so i think i'm gonna have enough uh i'm gonna leave there maybe three or four gallons that, that should be enough so gotta get something done over here even though the weather sucks and uh when I left the marina, I talked to this lady just parked next to me and she goes, yeah, I, I went to the trash can and I found this box with, it has ropes and it has, you know, metals and things. And and she showed me and said, man, those are, those are in good shape. They're not old. I said, what, what's happening? Goes, I don't know. Somebody just dumped them. So I went and picked them up. I got a rope in the car now for the boat that's uh, the, the good one, the, the good weeded, uh, uh, tweeted one. Uh, I don't know how you said uh, nylon and it's um, 150 feet of rope with a nice shackle. And then I got two pieces of 50 of this type, which is, uh, it looks like it's five eighths or maybe even, yeah, it's, I think it's five eighths. And then these are the pieces that they were in the trash. This is solid. This is heavy. Uh, these are aluminum. Uh, this is also heavy. So this, this little one's here, aluminum. This one is aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. And then these three are the heavy duty. And look at this. This sucker's heavy as hell. And it's in mint condition. I don't know why they dumped it in the trash. That's for the rope, uh, for the anchor and everything. I'm gonna put this up for sale. And also it had a, in the bottom of the rope, because the box was heavy and I said, man, you know, what's in here that's so heavy? It, it had a lot of papers and a lot of magazines from 20 years ago and correspondence and a lot of personal stuff that I, I kind of read a little bit. I said, no, I'm not going to read through the whole thing. This is none of my business. It's pretty old anyway. So I figured that either the guy that had the boat passed away or he sold the boat and they said, okay, clean it out. And he just went and dumped it. He didn't want to deal with it anymore. And he dumped it in the trash. Uh, two weeks ago, my mechanic... And I went to dump some trash, and on the side of the, the, the trash can was a, a da, uh, Daihatsu uh, outboard motor. I think it was a six horse, and the choke was hanging out, the wirings, uh, the it was it was beat up, and it looked like it was unrepairable. And somebody just said the hell with it, and they just parked it there. See, somebody wants to pick it up and take it. The propeller was plastic. Propeller was good, but I don't have that motor, so I don't care about the propeller. But if you have a motor like that, you want to strip it and take something valuable, like, I don't know, maybe the carburetor or the, I don't know, the spark plug. It, it looked pretty beat. And that was there about two weeks ago. Once in a while, people just throw away stuff. Oh, let me check my pump. It stopped pumping later.
And we got Papa with us. He had to have his jewels removed. Had a little bit of cancer, but luckily the cancer wasn't malignant. It was benign. Ah, Baba. He's having his bone. He liked the green bones. And he also had he he also had some uh, some small cancer cells around the uh, the outside of the anus on one side there, and the doctor just removed everything. So so far so good. Um, we're giving him pain pills. He seems to be doing okay. He's got a good appetite, and we have to keep the cone because he wants to turn around and start licking him. He's got metal stitches there, uh, staples, and he might tear it out. Because if it starts itching or burning, he's gonna wanna get to it. So we have to keep that cone on. I take it off once in a while when I'm in with him. And then when he starts acting up, I pop it back on again. So there's also one small issue that the doctor found that he has a, uh, he's got a cancer cell in the spleen. The removal of the, of the nuts that produces testosterone or has testosterone uh, the, it causes an inflammation we wait for the inflammation to go down that's what i think he explained and we're going to see in a month if that uh, is going to do anything to react uh, in a good way he's going to take another picture uh, let me tell you something we're taking we're taking uh, this dog to several several a lot of vets and none of them have the equipment that this guy has he's got a machine a, a scan hey papa that costs about half a million dollars and he can see in detail he's an expert and i'm sorry we didn't know about this guy before he probably could have saved bearpa's life he could have surgically gone in there and, and fix her but the other doctor didn't have the equipment He's very reasonable too. He's he's cheap compared to the other people. We're not gonna go to those other people anymore. Those vets are they're just way too expensive. They don't have the right equipment. And Papa, look, he's looking at Daddy. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Huh? You had that bone already? You you're good eating. You you like to eat? Yeah, you like to eat. Oh, uh -huh. check out Papa boy. Oh, I love you, my child. I love you. Oh, Lindo. He wants to go running. He wants to go running. Yeah. This this papa is very loving. He is very loving. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Want to go night night? Hmm? So we keep an eye on him, and we actually, for the first time, we let him come into the bedroom to sleep next to the bed. Um, in case he, he starts acting up, we can get on him right away. We don't, we don't put him in the kennel now because he could, <laughs> he might be, he might be crazy enough to take that thing off because it keeps driving it off and it'll pop off. I don't have it tight or anything, but it could happen. So you want to go outside? Want to go pee pee? All right, let's do that. Why? Why? Come on, go pee pee. Go pee pee. All right, he doesn't want to. I know what you want. He wants to go to the park, believe it or not, and go running. I know you're in good shape. All right, later. I gotta go back to the truck and make sure it it's pumping. It, it just took a two second break and it's pumping. It's gonna take a while to pump 25 gallons because the thing is, you know, little sorps, little sorps. He wants to go outside. You wanna go outside with me? Come on. Come on, I'll let you go. Come on. There you go. You wanna go out there and sniff around? Take a dump. <laughs> this is where we usually sit and 
have a some coffee and smoke a cigar. He likes to rub against the bushes. I feel bad from him having to wear that stupid cone, but can't do nothing about that now. Because if he rips, if he rips those uh, step, uh, staples off, it's another surgery. And this guy is reasonable, but still costs money. Yeah, it's gonna come down. There are two two dips coming. Yeah, he's he started being cooked up in the house. <laughs> he likes to go out here and roam around a little bit. So, yeah, I might have to remove it. It's gonna be kind of difficult to put my hand back back there and remove the two bolts so the tank can swing down. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pay somebody to do it because by myself with a bum arm, it's not gonna be easy. All right, he's taking a leak. And back inside we go. Ready? <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Later.